I'm Melissa, owner of Feel Better Fitness. Thanks for joining the ladies and I from sunny South Florida for the Feel Better 15-minute multi-level no-floor workout. Please subscribe for new weekly workouts and tips and to help me grow my channel. These workouts are great for everyone and safe for seniors, beginners, and people with limited mobility. The ladies help demonstrate three levels from beginner chair to advanced. Whatever your level, get up and get moving. You can do it. Check with your doctor before starting a new exercise program. Stay to the end of the video to see what bonus mystery guest has visited us. For this workout, water to drink, a chair in a safe, clear area, and... Hi guys! Welcome to Feel Better Fitness. We are here today with the ladies with no sprinkles yet, so we are doing well. Body weight, core, balance exercises today. And we have Terry. Hi, Terry. She's level three today. She's going for it. Okay. Pam is level two. Say hi, Pam. And Cheryl is... Demonstrates level one in the chair. Okay, let's warm up. Up and out to the sides. Exhale, up and out. One. Stretching those hips. Two. Three. Four. Smile. Five. Six. Seven. It's a hot one out today. Eight. Right, Pam? Yes. Nine. Ten. Eleven. And twelve. March it out. You guys switch sides. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now the other leg, the left, one. Inhale, exhale, two, three. Pull those abs in, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. March it out, one, two, switch sides, guys. Three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, and ten. Straight back leg lifts alternating. One, two, stretch. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Hold. Two, three, stretch. Four, five, switch. One. Two, three, four, five. Ten, march it out. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and Flaps. ten. Now our guys, So we're gonna push through the heels. Check out the chair exercise. So yep. Tummy in, shoulders down, back and together. Reach out, squeeze your shoulder blades. Tuck your chin. Retract your head. You're gonna inhale forward. Exhale, turn, squeeze back one. Inhale, exhale, two. Inhale, exhale, three, four, five, six, seven, three more, eight, season those shoulder blades, nine, and ten. Now hold, five, four, three, two, one. Press down and roll. Make sure the creepers don't start coming up, right? Keep your shoulders away from your ears. Now we're going to extend our right leg. If you have a hip problem, guys, you can do it like this. You don't have to lift it. Flex it. Do not wrap back. Pull those core muscles in. Stay like a tree. Inhale, exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, hold. Five, four, three, two, one. Rest down. Now our left. Tummy in, nice and tall. Squeeze shoulder blades down, back and together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten, hold. Five, four. One, stretch now. All right, now we're gonna do our balance. So let's get to, Terry and I are gonna do it in front of our chair. We're gonna do our standing position. Make sure you get your hips in line. That's really important, right? You wanna get like a tree. And when we lift up our legs, 
away, we do not want to push back out of our position. So we're going to raise up our right leg without hiking up our hips. And we're going to do 10. One, two, coming in. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. March it out. Good job. That's hard. So when we add upper body, so we're adding upper and lower body exercises onto our balance today. So it makes it more difficult. All right. So let's raise up our left leg. Coming in. We're doing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good job. March it out. Our shoulder circles. And it's always backwards, guys. Because that opens the chest and works the back. So we want to work our sad team, right? So we're going to do small, medium, and large circles, right? And Terry and I are going to try for 30 in a row. But you can rest your arms down and follow the lead. You don't have to hold it up. When we do, you can rest down in between. All right, nice and tall, tummy in, shoulders back down and together, thumbs up. We're going to go baby, little baby back circles, squeezing our shoulder blades. Inhale, exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now we're going to hold it, except for you guys. One, two, three, four, five. Now we're going medium. Okay, inhale, exhale. One, two, three, four, five, six, squeeze, seven, lengthen, eight, nine, ten, hold, five, four, three, two, and one. Now we are going big circles. So one, coming in, no movement through the four. Two, control with those stabilized. Three, four. Five, exhale, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, hold it, five, four, three, two, and one. Good job, rest Our split stance. So we're going to do two-legged balance with our circle. You can follow Cheryl in your chair if you don't want to stand up. We're going to do our right leg forward and our left leg back. Make sure you got your runway. Cam is holding on, hinge forward from the hip. Terry, walk your foot out a little more, Terry. There you go. Make sure those hips are even. You're in your core center. Hinge forward, push through the front heel. We're going to inhale, exhale, baby circle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hold. Five, four, three, two, and one. Step back, march it out. Now we're going left leg forward, right leg back. Both hips even coming in. Now we go medium shoulder circle. Inhale, exhale, one, two, three, tuck the chin, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten, hold it. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. March it out. Take a drink. Me and we're going to work our low ab stabilizers, except for Cheryl. She's not lifting her knee. So we're going to come, pull back her elbow. Shoulders down, back and together. Wrists nice and straight. Now you're going to come up. So 90 degrees where your elbows are forward and your wrists are back. You should feel those, all those back muscles working, right? So we're working our posture today. So we're going to inhale and then exhale our right knee up two inches without rocking back. Now we're going to go down and up. Squeeze back one. Our chin, two. Inhale, exhale, three. 
Inhale, exhale, four, five, six, squeeze, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Hold, five, four, three, two, one. Rest down and roll. Good job. That works your low ab and your whole back area. Okay? That's a good one. Your rotator cuff. So let's get our elbows back. Wrist straight, tummy in. We're going to inhale, exhale, the left leg up, hold it. Reach, squeeze back, inhale, exhale, up one. Inhale, exhale, two, three, abs in, four, smile, five, <laughs> forgot about that, six, seven, no crashes today, eight, Nine, not yet, we're not done. Ten, now hold it. Five, four, three, two, and one. We're not done yet. Stand up in our tree stand. Hip width apart, tummy in, shoulders down, abs in tight, so don't arch your back. Cam's gonna go to the side of her chair, good. We're gonna inhale down, exhale, squeeze, what? Two, three, four, squeeze. Five, work it. Six, you want to feel your rotation. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Now, Pam will switch side. Inhale, exhale, one. He's looking at you, Pam. Two, three, four, scat crows. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. March it out. All right, now we got a great balance. We're going to do our knee up, hold for five, leg out, hold for five, and leg back, hold for five. So Terry's going to be by the side. She's going to try not to hold on. Cheryl is not doing any arms, and Pam is holding on with one arm. So you do what you're comfortable with, okay? So we're going to inhale, and then we're going to exhale the right leg up without shifting out of our our uh, hip alignment. One, two, three, four, five. And then if you need to tap down, you can. You don't have to. And leg out. One, two, three, four, five. Now leg back. One, two, three, four, five. So you notice when I do it, there's no movement through my core. I'm not moving around. Well, then I'm not. Right? So we got to keep in our core center. Right? Let's try the other leg. So now we're going to raise up our left. Right? So we're going to come out. Raise up. Exhale. Good. So one, two, three, four, five. Now on the transition, nice and slow. One, two, three, four, five. Slow. One, two, three, four. Four and five. Good job. March it out. So when when you're transitioning, you you can't do it fast. It's gonna throw you off. So you gotta control slow movements. That's balance. And when you're raising up your leg, you gotta make sure you're not crossing over and moving your hips. All right. So let's try the right leg up again. Thumbs up this time. Inhale. Exhale. Raise it up. One, two, three. Four, five, slowly transition out. One, two, three, four, five, slowly transition back. One, two, three, four, and five. Great, march it out. Inhale, exhale up without moving out of that hip alignment. One, two, three, four, five, slowly transition. One, two, three, Four, five, and back. One, two, three, four, and five. Good job, guys. March it out. For the final elbow plank exercise, it is important to perform in good form at the appropriate level to work the correct muscles safely. How do I perform this exercise better and what level should I start from? For the answers to these questions, I will put a link in the description for the elbow plank tips 
and the Feel Better Steps to Progress online exercise program that teaches in 12 steps from basic form to total body no floor exercises. Hold this elbow plank for 30 seconds to one minute for two sets. Stay tall with your body in one long line with your abs pulled into the spine. Stop immediately if your form fails or you experience any pain. Now for our bonus, we have our second round table with the Feel Better Fitness ladies. All right, our next question is, just a, a summary of your most important loved ones in your life, Cheryl. Well, my husband. Your yeah. hubby. Yes, my mom will be 91 in February. And she does my workout, doesn't yes, she, she, Cheryl? Yes, she does. She 91. Does. Yes, in her wheelchair. Love it. Which is okay. That warms my heart. That good. And then I have three grandchildren that live down in Redlands, Florida. That's far west Miami. And um, I have a huge family. I have five brothers and sisters and lots of nieces and nephews and great nieces and nephews. And, and don't you guys go away? Great, to, great nephews. You guys go away together. We, we, we have a family reunion every year around June. This year we did have to cancel it outside of St. Augustine, Florida because of the coronavirus. So we're hoping we have reservations for next June. So we're hoping that we're all going to be there. Yeah, I know you look forward to that every oh, year. Oh, right? yeah. You always get excited. And we miss you when you miss the workout. But How about you, Miss Pam? Well, I have my daughter in Austin, Texas. Oh, I miss because of the stupid virus. I haven't been able to see her for a year. Yeah. I know. I haven't seen my mommy for years. I know. So, so I know. So she's in Texas. Do you, do you like to visit her there? Well, she usually comes here to see me. Oh, yeah. She won't because she said, no, I'm not going to do anything. Is she thinking maybe to drive up? Sometimes she drives, sometimes she flies. Yeah. But she has to make sure she can bring her dog. How about you, Miss Terry? I have a big family. I have four daughters. And I have five grandchildren. Four daughters? Yeah, four daughters. You're a poor husband. <laughs> <laughs> wow! I have five grandchildren and I have two great grandchildren. Wow! And a great grandma. Are you the only great grandma? Am I the only great grandma here? Yeah. Yes! Yeah. Wow! Yeah, my, my favorite, of, believe it or not, my favorite of all the kids is my. Eight-year-old great grandson. He you may not me. want to say that on tape. <laughs> <laughs> no, everybody knows. Everybody knows. <laughs> no I secret. never had a son. I never had a son. Uh, I do have two other grandsons, but they were mommy boys. My daughter, my daughter, but my but I babysat my great grandson. You know, for, for six years until he went to school. So he's he just wow. So he's like the boy. Ah, yeah. Bonded. It's like I can't describe how wonderful it is yeah. you know the love well you, you it's different when the girls and, and the boys are different yes. you know i have two boys uh but i actually mentor two girls so they're like my the girls i never had yeah. but the boy my boys are just so amazing but um well that's cool all right got to know your family so you guys stay tuned for next week's bonus Number three round table with the ladies. Hugs for me and the ladies. One arm here, one arm here, and a one, and a two, and a one, two, three. Good job, woo! Subscribe for more great workouts and tips and help support my channel. See you next week.